What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode, but today we're going to be checking out the final part, Mix 3, of the Majorette Japan Series bonus pack. Yes, there are three different assortments for these boxes. As you can see, we have them in the background there. Be sure to check out the playlist to see those other videos, and today we will be checking out the last box and this one here, absolutely awesome. We can see here we have the Suzuki Carry, the Nissan Z, the Nissan Skyline GTR R34, and the Honda Civic Type R EK9. Very awesome. Plus, don't forget, we get the secret Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Plus, we get the tuning parts as well for these top two cars. Love the box work, love the artwork. Very, very well done. Oh yes, we'll just check out that. I love how the GTR wraps around there. On the top part there, we have some more of the cherry blossom tree. Uh, there's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. You can pause and read that if you wish. And there is the barcode, so give this a scan. And I really hope you guys can find this because this is absolutely incredible. Such an incredible way of collecting these Japan series cars. All right, and here we have on the back Yes, there are the three secret Nissan Skylines. There are some of the cars with the tuning parts already assembled. And then we have the stock standard street versions of these cars. Wow, super, super cool. All right, let's open the box up and we will see what we have. All right. Oh, there we go, guys. There is the Suzuki Carry. We can see that we have the tuning parts for it just there. The Nissan Z has flipped around. We will get to that. There's the tuning parts for that. The Skyline has also flipped around. Wow, that's a really beautiful color. And then the Civic down there with the red interior. Very awesome. And there is the top secret Nissan Skyline GTR. We will open that one at the end of the episode and we'll grab out these tuning parts boxes very very cool we'll grab some of these cars out oh look at the color on that wow yes there we go we have that millennium jade green i believe the color is called and then we have the civic super super cool all right now first thing we will do is we'll just check out the cars very quickly and then we will check out all of the boxes and the tuning parts inside Get some focus going for that. There we go. What a fantastic color blue this is. You can see it's got a little bit of metallic in there. This one has the opening tailgate at the back. And you can see that it's also painted black with a Suzuki badge on the side of the back of it too. Wow, Team Suzuki. Nice white, light blue and red striping. We get the Majorette sticker on the back there. We get the yellow off-road wheels. Wow, very awesome. Uh, these ones here are just plastic tires, but yeah, very, very nicely done with that yellow trim there. Wow. Uh, right hand drive, tiny little K truck. Oh, wow, that's really cool. The front there has the badges, Suzuki carry badge there, little tiny little round headlights, blacked out grille section, indicators there. That looks super, super awesome. That is a really, really cool. A little bit of detail work on the roof, same as in the bed there as well. Around the back there, Yes, we get the lights painted up, little license plate section there, and super cool how it's got that little tiny uh, opening tailgate there. Love this car, this is super awesome. And on the other side, we have the Team Suzuki once again. That's super, super cool. And uh, here is the base for all of you base fans. Hopefully you can read all of the information on there. Wow, that's awesome. Next up, we have the Nissan Z or the 400Z. Uh, whichever way you would like to describe it. Really nice satin pink color. That is really cool. And it also has a uh, Nissan 400 on the bonnet. We get some crazy flame details. Uh, a little bit of Japanese writing there. Nice silver bonnet there, actually. That looks rather cool. And it's got the bright yellow wheels, the full JDM drift style livery there. That's super cool. Some racing sponsors, some more Japanese writing there. And this one here comes with the opening doors. And as you can see, this one here is a left-hand drive. Wow. On the front, we get the lensed headlights, the badging, and as, the, as we're gonna see on that bonnet there, that silver paint with the tempo work there looks really, really cool. A little blacked out grill and bumper section just there. And around the back there, yes, we get the rear light badging and uh, lights and badging and everything there. That's super cool. It also gets 
uh, the two exit exhausts there. That's really cool. And we'll go around to the opposite side there. Uh, that's awesome. We get the dragon just there on the door and we'll open up the doorway. Look at that. Wow, that is really, really cool. And you can see that there are actually more details for the armrests on the doors there. That's awesome. I can't get over that color. That's a really, really lovely color. It's also a gray interior there. And uh, here is the base for all of you base fans. Hopefully you can read all of that information. That is so, so nice. All right, next up we have the Nissan GTR R34 in this Millennium Jade color. Beautiful color, I will have to admit. Nice uh, wheel choice in that kind of like a brushed aluminium effect there. Little GT badge there, more little indicators and such painted up. Uh, right hand drive with a light grey interior also. Around the front there we get the lens headlights, the GTR badge in the centre. Little fog lights there painted up as well. That is super super awesome. Metal wing on the back there. And we'll turn this around for the rear light and badging details. That is so nice and you can actually see the skyline is actually embossed into the casting. That is awesome. Uh, Nissan on the license plate and all. Wow. And the same details on the opposite side there. And uh, the GTR actually comes with the removable bonnet. There we go. There you go. You can see the RB engine hiding away in there. And uh, we have also seen that there is a vented bonnet version of these uh, in the mystery boxes there too. So uh, we'll get to those very shortly. But how awesome is that? Wow. And uh, here is the base for all of you base fans. That is such an incredible color. And the last one we have is this bright, bright yellow Honda Civic EK9. It's got the white wheels. It's got the Type R badging. It's got the full red Type R interior with roll cage in red also. Wow, a little bit of black paint for the B pillar just there. Around the front there, we get the lent headlights, little blacked out sections and uh, grill pieces there, nicely detailed. Honda on the bonnet. This one comes with the opening bonnet. We will get to in just one second. And uh, this one comes with something else inside there. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that out after the episode. And on the back there, nice light details, badging details. Honda on the license plate too. Super cool, it's got a little rear window wing and everything. Wow, that is so nice. Nice wheel choice. They kind of look a little bit funny, uh, but they are actually quite cool. All right, let's see if we can get into the bonnet here. Oh yes, there we go. Look at that. There we go, we have all of the engine details in there cast in. Uh, no painted engine details, but still incredibly cool. And it's actually a metal uh, engine part there as well. Wow, that's awesome. And uh, here is the base for all of you base fans. Awesome. All right, let's grab these tuning parts boxes. This one here is for the Suzuki Carry. You see what it will look like in the end there. And they are tuning parts. And as you can see, they are in the style of a shipping container. Really, really cool. There's some mumbo jumbo there. And uh, yeah, really, really awesome. We'll grab out these pieces here. We have a motorcycle, a little Vespa by the looks of it. You can get the focus there. Awesome. And the little exoskeleton cage thing there. And then on the other one, we have the Nissan Z. This one here comes with the widened body kit plus the tires once again. So bear with me for one second as we get all of these parts put onto the cars and then we will be back for the Nissan GTR special mystery car. All right guys, how cool does this look? Look at these parts, wow. I have to say, this little Suzuki carry with this little exoskeleton roll cage and this little Vespa scooter is super cool. Uh, we also get the spare wheel on here, get a little ladder piece to get up there. Around the front, we get a full ball bar. We get the winch, we get the light bar. How cool is this? A little bit of bracing on the roof there. We get spotlights on the roof also. That is just such a cool, cool looking addition to this vehicle. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I have to say, this is one of the cooler ones that we've had for a while. And uh, yes, these pieces just click in uh, nice and simple, very straightforward. So yeah, really, really awesome. Very, very impressed with this uh, 
I have to say that looks so cool. Very, very amusing. And then we can open the tailgate also to get the vehicle out. Yes, that is such a very, very cool looking car. And speaking of a very, very cool looking car, look how insanely crazy this car looks now. Now you can see we have those rubber wheel covers which pop on to make them look like they have deep dish wheels. We get the chrome body kit with the crazy looking front splitter there, wide body pieces. Just an incredibly cool looking car. Gets a side exit exhaust there by the looks of it. A little bit of vent work and a big wing on the back there. And uh, yeah, that's absolutely awesome. There is the rear section just there. But yeah, how cool is that? And uh, the color of this is actually a purple, uh, not a blue as that appears on camera. Uh, yeah, very, very uh, similar to the blue that you see, but it is actually a purple. Wow, very, very cool. And do the doors open? Yes, the doors still open with the body kit. Love that. And uh, yeah, they just click into the base pieces just there. You can just uh, click them on and off rather easy. And uh, with the rubber tires, you have to remove the rubber tires first, unfortunately, uh, which are kind of a little bit fiddly, but very, very cool. All right, now we can get onto it. Yes, we are onto the final Nissan Skyline GTR R34, and this is the mystery box. Yes, everybody knows I love a good mystery box. Uh, there's the base there, side pieces of the container. Very, very awesome. And uh, let's see what we get this time. Oh, we get a blue one today and it has a red base. Oh, that is awesome. That is so cool. This is now the third color variation of this vehicle we have received. We had a white one, a red one, and now a blue one. And uh, yeah, these ones here come with the chrome wheels and these are actually your deluxe rubber tires on these skylines here at the end. Whereas the ones in the background are only the plastic wheels. Look how cool this looks. Yes, as we know, we have the removable bonnet piece there. Oh, which reminds me, we have, to, we have to remove the bonnet piece out of here. And once again, yes, we get another gray vented bonnet. And I will just quickly close this box up, put that back up there. And here we have it. So yes, all of these vehicles come with an extra vented bonnet in that gunmetal gray super super awesome and we will actually put that one onto this one today because we completely forgot by the end of yesterday's episode to uh, actually attach it how awesome is this yeah they are all identical bar the colors really really nice and uh yeah very very nice detail headlight details uh badging details this front split up body kit and rear uh, bumper looks really awesome and there we go have the uh, rear light details everything exactly the same as on this one here, to be honest, uh, just this one here is just like your street version. Uh, but that is super, super cool. Wow. And I'll just show you quickly how these base pieces click on. There we go. We have these little sections just there. And they also click on with these little tab pieces just there. So you just pop it on, line it up, and then go click. And it is in place. Look at that. All right, let's get this bonnet piece off. There we have the RB. And now we can put the vented bonnet on there and look at that just the the amazing transformation that you get just from changing the bonnet to a vented bonnet is awesome look at that wow that is incredible that is such a cool cool car all right guys there we go we'll uh leave this piece just over there all right, guys, and there we go. That is the end of the absolutely incredible three-piece assortment mystery box set for the Majorette Japan series. Just absolutely incredible. So there we go, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all then.